my YouTube friends. Hola, mis amigos de YouTube. This is Pinguina. Once again, bringing you another cover video. Yeah. And being all loud with my dishes. Oh man, I just kind of wanted to put in my little um, silver mixing bowl. Um, so for today's video, I'm actually going to bring you guys uh, a delicious recipe for uh, keto uh, shortbread, I believe shortbread, I want to say, uh, pecan cookies. And I just call them pecan cookies, but honestly, I don't know if they're going to be shortbread or not, but um, it's a very delicious recipe. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And then for today's story, I'm going to be sharing basically, um, kind of continuing from when where I left off from the last video, the uh, vegan ceviche video, where I was talking about um, purchasing our first home at the age of 22 with now then our three kids. And so um, this time, basically... I'm just going to kind of share on a little bit more about, you know, how we ended up just getting rid of that house and then purchasing our second home and uh, our second home uh, was about 24, almost 25 years old when, uh, when we did that. And so the first thing I'm going to do, and then I'm going to go ahead and kind of like pause because I don't want to be all loud. But it's going to be, I'm going to cream the butter, which is a third cup of butter. Cream the cream cheese with is four ounces of cream cheese uh, together with um, a uh, one third cup of uh, brown sugar. And I'm going to use the uh, Swerve. Okay. Because it is a keto recipe. And so I'll go ahead and show you that as I'm pouring those in. Now they are softened, they're not like melted completely, just softened. And so in the previous video I did share with you guys that um, we did buy a three bedroom, two bathroom home in the big city. And then um, we just had one too many issues with either my family or my husband's family. Kind of like butting in when it came to our parenting and or our marriage so i uh, we didn't want to be rude we did try setting boundaries but you know sometimes there's a certain type of person that just doesn't care about boundaries and or because they believe that they've been here longer than you then they just want to you know you're supposed to be listening to them because of course oh yeah you know, I'm going to kind of use the whole bag because there's like literally like maybe like a tablespoon. So mine are going to be a little sweeter than yours, but a uh, third cup. I'll show you. Okay. Third cup. And so I'm going to go ahead and soften this. And then uh, once it's creamed, I'll continue. Okay. All right, my friends, as you can see, the... Um, cream cheese, butter, and brown sugar are, are already um, creamed. As, and I'm going to continue with one large egg, room temperature as well. Okay. Boom. And then meanwhile, because I'm down to maybe a few more ingredients, I will go ahead and preheat the oven at 350. And then I'll go ahead and add uh, the vanilla while I continue to tell you my story. So, um, what uh, basically what I was getting at is just you know, um, I know we were young when we got married. I know we were young when we started our family, but I was not gonna let his family or my family, you know, tell us how to raise our kids because I do have another story eventually in regards to how you know my mom would actually um i guess her parenting you know and it was just just extremely like harsh and i want to share that story you know eventually with you guys 
But you know, meanwhile, this one's the one. Um, hopefully you guys can still hear me. And so, um, you know, we started kind of shopping for a new house. And we did want to keep it around the same, you know, like three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Um, but we did want it further away from the city and maybe where family members from both sides of the family wouldn't visit as much. Okay, I'm going to continue to cream this and then mix the egg and everything and then I'll be right back. Okay, friends, so that's now creamy as you can see here. That's with the egg and the uh, vanilla. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and toss in one third cup of coconut flour and kind of continue on uh, with the story. So we did discover like a smaller town that was outside the city that was about an hour away. And you know, uh, Mr. Pinguino and I chit-chatted and I said, you know what, it's actually close enough where we can drive um, to visit family if we choose to, but far away where they're not going to want to come and visit as often. So, hey, you know, worked out for me. As much as I love my mom and as much as I love my siblings and as much as I love his family, I just didn't want them to interfere. And the fact that we were able to do that, I felt was like a wonderful blessing. Now, I'll show you the coconut that I found, which is this one. It's called Jan's. It's almost gone, so I'm trying to finish it. And then the almond flour, I just did one cup right now, and I'm about to do a half a cup, so it's one and a half cups. It's just a great value brand, nothing fancy. And then again, it's still, you know, preheating. The oven's still preheating. But anywho, um, we found another beautiful, like, three-bedroom, two-bath. We saw a lot of them, let me tell you, houses. But in this small town, the difference was the land. Oh, yeah, the land could not compare to the city where in the city we had like a smaller um, yard. I don't know how small, but because it is a city, it is a small yard, if you guys are aware of like, you know, how big yards are. But here in this small town, the hour away that it was, was worth the drive and it was worth the house price and everything because it was coming with one acre and some change. And so it was this tremendous, it is still, because we still own it, a tremendous backyard where my kids could just get on their bikes and ride and ride in their backyard and scooters and gosh, run. And, and it's just going to feel like a big forest and a big everything for them. And sorry, I'm over here excited because it's beautiful property. But I also want to continue mixing this for you guys because it's going to turn into a cookie dough. And so I'm not going to be using the mixer. I'm just going to be like mixing it with the spatula. But I want to go ahead and so you know what? We're going to do that, okay? Because it is going to turn into this batter. That way I can continue my story. And while I'm cleaning this off, um, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Of course, it lets me know, of course, the like that you guys like the content that I'm putting out. Notification for you. The notification bell is actually going to um, notify you guys when I upload my videos, right? Once you guys are subscribed. Awesome. And then, so now I'm going to do some baking uh, powder, one and a half teaspoons. And let me get you that.
And then that's basically one teaspoon here. And then half a teaspoon here. And then now the only thing that I have left, because I'm going to mix that here, is I have um, the pecans that are going to go in. And then we'll mix all of those, all that deliciousness together. Okay, and basically that's that's it. And then I'm going to continue my story here. Now, um, I originally did not envision the whole, you know, the property. It was actually Mr. Pinguino. He's the one that spotted it. It was the first house that we visited. But because it was outdated is one of the reasons I didn't like it. Now, he saw a bigger potential than, than I did because of the land size and everything. I was just like, ugh, this like 1980s, like, kitchen and 1980s, like, flooring. And, um, I mean, I've showed you guys a video on my beautiful house. And, and that's uh, basically in another video with uh, my cooking tools are home now or something like that, I think I named it. So if you guys go see that, you'll at least see my kitchen and a little glimpse of the backyard which is a hot mess. Um, don't forget, we were gone for about a year um, in the state of Arizona or so, a little bit longer, I think. And so it was a little bit neglected when it came to like the maintenance of the backyard and whatnot. But let me get those pecans. And that's going to be three quarter cups of, I love pecans, they're my favorite, and now I'm making cookies. Sorry, I couldn't even open it. So I'm going to do a full cup, but you can do three quarters. I just love them too much to do three quarters. So if you want to do what I'm going to do, it's, I'm doing one cup. Okay, I'm not going to you to go. Uh, she knows in there and then just gonna mix it around and that's it my friends that's it my friends sorry I stole that from my brother he recently passed away well kind of about a year ago but that was his favorite saying he would just whenever he's talking and had a conversation and was finishing a conversation he would be like, okay, my friends, that's it, my friends, that's it, my friends, that's it, my friends. <laughs> so that's where I got it from. Anywho, so here's basically the cookie dough all mixed and ready to go. Now I get my baking sheets. And yeah, I used brown sugar, so it does have sugar. The coconut flour, the almond flour, it's a keto recipe, has pecans, has an egg to bind everything together. And so look at that cookie dough, look at that. It's delicious. I love pecan so it's like super duper. And um, I wanted to save some of my, um, because I already knew I wanted to make this recipe today, but I wanted to make, I wanted to, I wanted to add some chocolate but yesterday, um, and I haven't uploaded them, but yesterday I recorded a, another video for you guys. And it was on chocolate, basically Lily's chocolate, like candies that I made. Chocolate candies with st stuff inside of them. They look like tiny little round Reese's cups, but it was like some with pecans, some with walnuts, some with blueberries. You'll see the video. I haven't really up uploaded it yet, but it's just um, chocolate candies. I'll figure out a name for the, the video. Just look, it's it's a keto recipe, so just look for it in the keto playlist, and then you'll see what I'm talking about. And then that's how I ended up running out of like chocolate chips. So anywho, my friends, this is it. I'm gonna pause you for a sec, so I'm gonna go ahead and just basically use a, I do have it, since I have all my tools back, and I know I already saw it. And I just have to look for it because I haven't really organized my uh, drawer. So let me see where it's at. Bam! Good 
Yankee scooper. Three fifty for about thirteen to maybe fifteen minutes, just as long as you see that it's golden around the edge. Okay, so I'm gonna do um, two cookie sheets, parchment paper, and I'm gonna grease the parchment paper. Put put the uh, cookies, and then I'll bring you the wonderful product when I'm done. See ya. Okay, friends. So I'm Maya. Thank you for staying tuned. I know it's already at 15 minutes, so I'm going to be quick. Um, the timer just went off. I did do um, 350 degrees, and I did 14 minutes total. And that's my other timer for my 12 minute. So I did 12 first because I was trying to remember. But it's anywhere from 13 to 18 minutes, just depending on the temperature of the oven. Now this that you see here is butter because I wanted them to be like buttery. But I want to show you that they're like super soft. Okay. And see nice and brown on the bottom. But not burnt. Now if you want a little bit more color then do 16 minutes. But right here I'm going to cut it in half here for you guys. They are keto. They do fall apart really nicely. Yeah, and just let them cool so they can harden. Right now they're soft. Oh. Oh, yeah. Delicious with coffee in the morning. Oh, so good. Anywho. Now, so what I was telling you, it's just basically that we ended up moving right um, out of the city, away from the in-laws and away from my parents. So basically both sets of parents and so just basically the whole point of my story here is take the advice use what you want to use but don't let them influence you any more than that even though you're young or older they're your kids you discipline the way you want to discipline them and you do you and i'll do me right and they should do them they shouldn't be telling you what to do. Of course, if you need advice and you're looking for it, awesome. But don't let uh, older people take advantage because they seem to do that. Okay? So, yeah, I ended up we ended up purchasing our house when I was 25, the second one. Uh, that's the one you see here, my beautiful kitchen. No longer an 80s kitchen. And you can actually watch the video out. That my kitchen tools are finally home. That's the one. Sorry, I keep eating the cookie, but I want to finish my story. So please do um, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And then I do love you guys a lot. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. May God bless you all. Again, you do you. I do me. I will see you in the next video. Bye, friends.